Thanks for joining us. I'm Marie Mortera. Authorities nationwide investigating a series of racist text messages sent to several people across the country. Our Georgia Costa spoke to security specialists about those texts and joins us now in studio with a closer look. We are Marie. The language used in these texts is overall discriminatory, referring to subjecting people to enslavement and forced labor. And now law enforcement agencies nationwide, along with the FBI and the Nevada Attorney General's office, are getting involved. It seems that minorities are receiving these text messages from somewhere um, that are claiming some very racist comments, such as uh, they've been assigned to to join a plantation and uh, click on a, either a link below, which is obviously a, a phishing link or just a message itself to cause you know, to cause harm. Cybersecurity specialist Mac Jackson Jr. is weighing in on the plethora of text messages sent to dozens of consumers across the country. Now, the text in question all use similar verbiage reading, quote, you have been selected to pick cotton at the nearest plantation. The text also provide details for people to pack their belongings, saying a representative or, quote, executive slave will be showing up to pick them up. It Initially, it's, it's what anyone would say. It's just, this is a troll. <laughs> You know, there's actually people, someone out there trolling people. It could be a bot as well um, that could, or this could be coming from where it's an automated system. Someone puts in this racist message and add it to a bot and AI would then um, demographically send messages out to people now. And as authorities work to find out where the texts are coming from, a former FBI special agent says the messages aren't necessarily a crime. It doesn't appear to me by the verbiage. I mean, I think somebody's probably, um, you know, they're, they're covered probably by the First Amendment. I mean, even though it's, you know, disgusting comments and, and uh, very racist statements, um, it's basically not against the law. It doesn't appear that there's any type of threat. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any type of motivation for violence or trying to incite violence. Now, for consumers who received these texts, there is some advice specialists says people can do. I think if you don't take them serious, um, you know, you delete them and move on. Um, I think it's probably the best thing to do because, again, th they're looking for a reaction. They want a reaction. They want somebody to do something. They want somebody to be offended. Best things to do is, is to stay vigilant. And again, these are trolls that are just utilizing social media and technology to create fear, um, fear within our, our society. Now, authorities are asking people to report any uh, threats of physical violence to local law enforcement. Now, in addition to the FTC, locals can also report these texts to the Nevada Attorney General's office. But for now, reporting in studio, Georgia Costa News 3.